Yo, how to work hard without killing yourself. Yourself, not yourself, but yourself. Ashley Allen Productions, Penless Priscilla was here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to work hard without killing yourself. Something I know a little something about since I almost died from working too much. You see Patty there, that's right, Patty is there to help you, to guide you. If you got any questions about a course or anything, be sure to hit her up. I'm Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. If you want to learn how to start a business or you want to learn how to develop wealth, be sure to subscribe. Now, let's get into this wonderful bean footage. What you got to do is learn how to actually work. And what I mean is, when you have a task or there's something you're trying to do, you actually work, meaning you take the Facebook app off of your phone, you get rid of distractions, and seriously, if you work four to six hours a day, you'll get more stuff done than people who are working and being distracted and talking at the water cooler. Seriously, six to eight hours a day of solid work, it will be exhausting. You will literally get more done in one day than you do in a week doing these other forms of working, if you can call them that. Second thing you will do, cut out distraction. I'm talking about you will put your phone on silent, and this is a really big one. Many people feel that because their phone rings or someone calls or someone texts that it demands immediate response. It does not demand an immediate response. My phone has been on silent for like the last 10 years. But what's funny, when someone really needs me, they can get a hold of me. Don't take any calls. Essentially, turn your first hour or two of the day into productivity time. Let's talk about your hour of power. You wake up, you don't even brush your teeth, you do none of that you know, morning routine stuff, you just go to work for at least an hour every day and you will see that your productivity will drastically improve. I'm serious, no brushing your teeth. Don't do it, don't do it. Another way for you to work really hard without killing yourself is to take break. You could take a break every 30 minutes or you could take a break every hour. Five to 10 minute break, then you go right back to work. You get up, you walk around, you stretch, you do all this other stuff, then you go back into work. Another thing that you can do is learn your biorhythms. I'm a morning person, so my power hours are like from 5 a.m. to around roughly 2 p.m. 2 p.m. I start flaking out. I can still work, but my effective hours are from five to two. So that's when I do my most important task. If you're one of those nocturnal people, and some people are truly not nocturnal, they just got used to waking up at 10 a.m. You know, if you find it a struggle to wake up, and it's been like that for years, maybe you're nocturnal, but more than likely, you're just lazy. Another thing that you can do, get a schedule, keep a schedule, and you keep it even on your off day. This is so important because typically, let's say when someone goes on vacation and they come back, you notice it usually takes them a day or two to get back in the groove. Well, if you don't get out of the groove, you don't have to get back in the groove. Pretty much something that a lot of people struggle with because you know when folks want to be off, they want to be off. I don't, don't want to deal with the office, don't want to worry about checking the phone, they just want to be off and play around. But I'm telling you, that just typically does not work out very well. For high levels of productivity, it just doesn't. If you want to edge up your game, create an editorial calendar for yourself, meaning that you're gonna plan out your month, then when you get good at planning out your month, you're gonna plan out your year. Every day you wake up with an agenda, and that's gonna make you be able to work harder, longer, and be extremely high productivity level. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z, I mean, you will transform like into Goku. Now, there may be some days that you're feeling a little tired and that's okay, because typically when you're trying to work the schedule out, it's gonna be a little draining because if you're not used to working, it's going to take an impact on your health and well, not an impact, but you'll notice it. Let's put it this way. It's not gonna be anything dramatic, okay? Don't freak out. Take a nap in the middle of the day. Uh, just do whatever you have to do because as you, it's probably gonna take you six to eight weeks to really figure this out because you've never worked like this before. And then it's gonna take probably another two months for you to get a really good schedule. None of this 30 day, 90, no, this, this is gonna take some time, Playboy. It's gonna take a little time. But it's well worth the effort. You've got the distractions, you've got your golden hour, 
you've got your month planned out, you've maybe got your year planned out. Now this is when you put all there. Because the thing is, you're going to have days that you're not going to complete your task. It's just going to be days like that. You're going to have some days you're going to complete everything. And as percentage wise, if you have 70%, 50 to 70% in the beginning is very, very good for completion. Because once again, you're not used to working this hard. You're not used to putting out like that, but 50 to 70%, maybe the first, um, six months. Then after you've nailed down your 50 or 70%, then you increase it five or 10% per month. And then that way you can be operating at high efficiency and say nine months to a year. And what I mean at operating at high efficiency, you will be able to complete an online course in like no time because you're used to working. Cause this is the thing. And when I say high levels of productivity, you can write a book in a week. You can, create an online course in 30 days. You so many things you can do because it's not about being smart. It's not about being brilliant. It's really about sitting your ass in the chair and working. It gets a little boring. That's the trick that you have to manage with your mind. You have to continue to push forward. Even if it's a little bit, like, let's say you're having an off week and you're just getting like 50%, 60% of your tasks done. Cool. Ride it out. Just go ahead, look at the end of the week. It's like, hey, you know, I got like a 60% on most of the stuff that's cool. Pat yourself on the back, then try to get 65% next week. You keep going, you get stuff done. And then when you look back and you see that all these things are done, you're like, wanna do more. It's like putting money in bank. It's like uh, when you start saving, it's really hard to put that money in the bank in the beginning, right? But then when you see it stack, you're like, oh hell. Oh shoot, I got a thousand. Well, let me put a little 200 over here. Let me put 300, let me put 400. Oh shoot, I got 5,000, I'm gonna put 500. And it becomes a game. And that's the same thing that happens with these productivity hacks. That once you start to get some gains, then you can to play more games with yourself. But you know, this should be enough to get you started. If you want more productivity hacks, I have a course for you. And this is what you got to do to get it. You got to go to Patty and say, Hey Patty, I want the power of six productivity course, right? And she's going to make that happen for you for $50. But that's the only way you can get it. That's the only way you can get it. All right. So this is Glendon. If you like this video and you should be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're having some challenges with working hard, put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I may answer the first 30. I may answer the first 60. Who knows? But so go ahead, put those comments down there and uh, we'll get busy.